Hello everyone, this is page one Rusty and today we wanted to see together a platform called Nine that is the, the free analytical platform open source uh, analytical platform that can be used to analyze our data so for our purposes today uh, we wanted to do the classification by using the deep learning so nine can help us to avoid any programming real programming and it give us the ability to make our workflow by different module the module for reading our data the module for making our model and the module for analyzing or uh, or visual visualization of our, our data okay so this is what we can do so let's go and and work with this so first of all I should say that uh, you can uh, you can download the nine from uh, from the website so this is the nine.com so you can download it it's a free uh, software and you can use it there are uh, different library for different purposes so the library for image processing library for uh, deep learning that you can uh, you can add to to that and all are, are, are free and use it for your your work as I said you can make a modular uh, workflow and do the visualization and so on so let's let's go when you download and install the nine this is the first uh, view of, of nine so we have different windows so windows for nine explorer show show you uh, your uh, your projects uh, it shows you uh, some some examples that are already exist in uh, so here some uh, some examples uh, so if I double click so you will uh, you will see the the examples so for different purposes data access ETL uh, for uh, for business intelligence visualization analytic reporting control structure and so on big data enterprise and lots of examples so if, if you go uh, inside them so you will see uh, other other example for example for analytics you can go for a statistic uh, you can go for clustering you can go for classification and predictive model regression time series and so on okay so there are lots of machine learning there are lots of examples that you can you can see that are already exist but now we wanted to make our own model to, to do the classification what I have as a, as a, as a data so I have uh, cell malaria, malaria cells that are, uh, are, uh, are divided uh, into two cl classes unaffected uh, uh, uninfected that is uh, that are the cells that are uh, here in this folder and uh, another class that's called uh, parasitized that are the the images that we have in in this folder so we have two uh, folders so train and the validation that we use them to to train and test or or model okay these are the data that we have but you can have any other other data it doesn't matter that uh, what are the, the data as far as you have the images and you wanted to use them uh, for the classification with the, the CNN so you can uh, have them here so here we have two classes so we call it binary classification but you can have n class so it doesn't matter can three four five ten and even more okay so then when you uh, when you have more than two classes when you are making your model you should define you should say that okay I have uh, three class I have four class that we will see together how we can do this so let's uh, start our workflow for the project okay so here first we should make a new project if you can go here click on this and select the uh, new name workflow or you just simply uh, press ctrl n to make the new workflow should define a name for that so I will say test project okay when you have it so uh, you have the the environment to put your notes on that so for each task that you wanna to to do there is a note okay that is uh, here in this window a node repository okay and we have different category of them and 
for each of them if you select on on them you will see a description on the on the right side of, of that okay for the IO this is the input out output so for reading the you have some some description that is uh, showed in the windows of the of the descriptions okay and you have a uh, windows of the console here that it show what are the, the action that you are doing so here for our work what we need we need first to read our data from uh, from the directory that we, we save them okay for them we should use a note that will go to the directory and we list all the all the files that we have on that so for that either we can search it here list files okay and it it will be appear here or we can go directly into the, to the categories okay so it is the IO input and output and we know that we wanted to read the data okay so we read the data we'll open extend it and we will go for for different options so here for example we have something for CSV reader we have something for X, uh, Excel reader line reader table reader uh, reader and and so on okay so here we will see the list we just need to drag and drop it here so when we drag and drop it here the next step is to configure uh, the node so here if we configure it so it asks us what uh, what is the um, the directory that you save your that you save your data so i will go uh, here so in the download archive 2 so this is the train and validation so what i do i will say okay this is the directory of my data i will say that okay there are some subfolders because i have subfolder for uh, train i have a subfolder for uh, validation and we have some uh, subfolders uh, in, in them that's corresponding to different classes here you can say that there is uh, uh, the extension it doesn't matter it lists all the, the files in the in the folder or you can specify the extension of the file so i know that the extension of my uh, images are png okay and i say okay do this that's the configuration the next step is to execute it when you, when we execute it so uh, it's run it go to the directory and it shows the, the green color to us it means that it's it's done so if i open and go to file list you see here are the uh, name of all the files that we have in my uh, directory okay and with the tab of row id it give a, a row id to them a, an id uh, it give a location of them and the url of them so here as we read it from um, uh, local computer the URL and the location will be will be the same okay so now that we have the list of all uh, images all of our, our data so what we need we need a node to read our images and, uh, and um, upload it in the in, in the memory so I can write image reader okay so we have different options so image reader image reader table or image image uh, reader table remote okay as we have made the table here i will just drag and drop the image and i connect this to this so before connecting you see it's uh, it's uh, red so when it's red it means that it's not uh, connected okay when i connect this to this so it became yellow it means that it's not uh, configured yet so i wanted to, to configure it okay and in that when we connect it said that from which column it should go and uh, find the location it says that okay the, this is the tab of the of the location because we have the path of, of images and then we can give any any uh, modification so if you wanted to have the channel if you have the time and so on in the image and then here we said the column setting so we wanted to make the new table or we wanted to have a one column that is appended to to the uh, table uh, the output table of the uh, list files see happen and go and then this became uh, yellow yellow so it means that it's not executed yet and then I we can execute it so actually I don't execute it here because if I do it's uh, it's almost I have to uh, 20,000 uh, images so it take uh, lots a lot of time so I don't run it okay but I will show you what we can do next so the next step is to have uh, some modification on, on data I know that in my database 
uh, the size of image that we have are not the same so and I know that when I wanted to feed it to the uh, CNN model the convolutional neural network I need to have all of them at the same size so what I should do I should have a node that will do the task for me so that will be image resize okay so this is the image resize I will connect it to this okay then it will be yellow and then I will configure it I said that okay what which type of uh, interpolation uh, what type of interpolation I, I need to, to use to, to resize it so uh, here we have different options I, I don't go in details of that small image processing but just uh, linear interpolation that will be fine and it will define the size that you wanted to, to have for example I said that okay 64 64 is the x and y dimension and I, it's the color image so I have the three channels red, green and, uh, and blue and I said that define this as the absolute uh, image size so I said that this is the absolute image size so I can have the relative scaling factor if I wanted to have this so I and also it's the dimension to, to affect so all dimension manually because I import it uh, manually so we can say that uh, affect all dimension so I will define the scaling uh, factor here it's depend on our strategy and we will do this again in the column selection we should say that which a column it should go and gather the data it's already uh, mentioned that it sh should go to the image folder image uh, tab and read the, the data from that and then you have other options to, to address it again so here you can have the new tab or you can append it to, to this say append okay and that's it so of course we, sh we need some other uh, uh, notes to do some modification to prepare our data to feed our, our model but I will uh, go for the next step that is okay we wanted to create our model so how we can create our model we need uh, a node that will allow us to, to create uh, the network so here in this example can be uh, deep learning python okay when I uh, select on this so it's already it's here uh, deep learning in python network creator network editor network executor and uh, network learner okay so first I should create it I will drag and drop it here and I will do the configure configuration and it give uh, me uh, an area to to write uh, the comments that I need to have my my model so we can use the cross so it means that we need the sequence of the of the of layers okay that I Im import it here if you are not familiar with the sequence of uh, of the class how we can make it in the caption of this video you can find the links to to video of tutorials of the of cross which is so simple you can define it and here you will say that I need the, for example three layers four layer or five layers or n layers you will define it and that that's all okay so to save time okay I will not put all the notes here but instead I will open the one that I made before okay so this is a full workflow to do this what I do I will read the data here so this is the same note that I used so list file so if I show the file list so this is the, the all the, the name of the all the files so okay so you have it here and you have the image reader that you can uh, you can read the read images okay so I already read them so and then uh, as it's almost uh, as I said <coughs> 20,000 uh, images so it's it's a little it takes a little time to to load them okay we minimize it and we explain the rest and then I use the image uh, resize to resize uh, uh, my my images to have the, the same size and then I will have another note that is uh, that is for extract labels and uh, subset information from folder structure because what we had we had the training we have the validation and for each of them we had two class so for each class we need a label okay so and then uh, we define the label for for each image because we wanted to do the classification and we need to know about the name of the labels then I will have a, another note that will remove uh, un unused column for example we saw that we had um, s uh, some column like a URL like the location images and so on so we will remove some that are not uh, necessary then the next step we shuffle the data so that 
it's really important when we want to create a CNN model because we don't want to send uh, all the data from one class once and then the second class okay that's not good for a uh, gradient descent so we will shuffle them and then we will feed them to, to the model the next step is the splitting of the data okay so to have the uh, train and, and test when we do the iteration as we saw uh, we have uh, the name of classes in in words on uh, uh, infected okay or another class but when we wanted to train a model we should convert them or encode them to the numerical value so I said uh, I use this uh, node to turn classes into 0 and 1 okay and the same for uh, for for the another node because it's a training and testing okay and then I will go further to to my model let's see to see if it's uh, loaded okay that that's fine and it's loaded the, the data so this is what we have as the output of the image reader so we have the location we have the URL and as we append it so we have images here okay so these these are the all the all images that that we have if we resize them to the to the specific size so I, if I show it so I resize it to 128 by 128 by, by 3 by the linear interpolation okay and then I define the the label and I shuffle them so I if I open it so I remove the unnecessary columns if I open this one okay again it, it takes time to to read them but it's not that much so but I will go, go further so here that we prepared our data to, to fit to the model that's that's all right we should go to the next step that is creating our, our network the one that I I showed you deep learning Python network creator okay and we should configure it so let's see if it's um, uh, loading loading uh, data okay then I will go then when we create it we say that okay we have three layers four layers or n la uh, n n layers okay we will go to the next uh, uh, node that is the deep learning python network learner okay and we do the class uh, classification when the model is ready because we we learn it here we will go uh, to the next step that is loading the validation data okay to our, uh, to our uh, next step that is the deep uh, python network extractor so we extract uh, our information from our, our model okay and we will uh, pass it it will give us the probability of course and we will pass the probability to the class label so this is a thresholding that we will uh, we will define okay let's see if i have no it's still uh, reading the data okay and then when we do we go further and we join them we have the the score at the at the end of the of the so this is what we we can have so with couple of nodes without writing any any script on uh, in that so we can do the classification and it uh, it works for for us properly okay so let's see when it uh, it finished okay so but as I said, so that's that's really simple. It's just uh, adding some uh, some node together. So as I said, so if you click on each of them, you will have an explanation here. So for a scoring, so we have the dialog option. So we have the different ports for uh, deep learning Python network. So this is the script. So we can have we can edit uh, flow variable, uh, workload, missing values. Okay, so rules per per, per chunk. So, so different explanation. You, it's it's really well documented, and you can uh, you can uh, read it. So here it's the the one that we have after removing unnecessary information. So we have images, okay, with the label, and uh, the subset of them that is strain. Okay, this is the first class. This is the second class, the second class, second class, and so on. So because we we shuffle them. Okay, so that's the data that are ready to go for our model here in the deep learning python network creator so we have that so we just import it and we made uh, the sequence what is the sequence is just adding layer so we just need to write model sequence and then have add the first convolutional uh, uh, convolutional layer we need activation and max pooling the second one activation max pooling this is 
almost copy and paste of the of the previous layer. Copy uh, convolutional 2D. So this is the convolutional layer activation max. I mean, convolutional layer activation max. What I have here, I have four uh, layer of the convolution. Then I will make it flat, and I will feed it to uh, dense layer. So with the 64 and I have a dropout and activation and at the end I will feed it to the uh, to the last uh, layer that I defined it as a, the sigmoid for the for the activation there is another possibility to change it to the softmax okay but still I don't go in details uh, in that you can have a look at the uh, videos for uh, for uh, tut cr uh, cross tutorial uh, and you you realize it from uh, from there but just said you use the sigmoid but there is uh, also option to uh, to use the softmax the next one is some uh, configuration that uh, that we need to, to do so the number of epoch okay the number of step and that's the by default so what we have it goes and we read uh, in the table images and it compile it okay so if you wanted to to do some uh, uh, data generator okay so data argumentation you can define some uh, uh, some parameters like zooming shear range so I just uh, d consider the default uh, of this that's sharing sharing so if you think if you think that is not necessary you can just uh, remove it and uh, use another one okay you will compile it and you will fit the your your model that's uh, that's all and then when it's done it's gone come to this and at the end what you will have you can have the confusion matrix okay so all results is not uh, good here the confusion matrix is not uh, it's not really really fine but for us it was for the test uh, I, I I put it so of course that we, we need to work on this change hyperparameters and, and work to to get the better performance an accuracy statistic so you can have the for for each class true positive false positive true negative false negative recall precision and so on you can have all the information here uh, from uh, uh, from um, the model and it says that okay this is the 58 percent of the of the accuracy okay that is it's not good of course but as I said this is just just a test so together we so that how we can uh, implement a deep learning model with couple of uh, uh, nodes okay uh, so simple so we don't need really a uh, programming skill and we can uh, do this for for all the tasks that we wanna we wanna do uh, thank you for for watching this video please uh, write your your comment in the caption of the of the video or if you have any any question you can write it there and uh, i will be happy to to respond to you have a good time bye